The Day the World Shrank by Brian Tirada. That's me. I used to run around trying to see and please everyone I possibly could because I could. I used to keep myself so busy that I could barely keep up with the things I really want to do and the people closest to me, like my family, my roommates, and even friends that live far away that I haven't caught up with in far too long. But then all of that was forced to a halt and my entire world shrank to the four walls of my room. At first it was isolating, debilitating, and disorienting. I lost almost all of my upcoming photography and videography gigs for the foreseeable future. I also planned an EP release show for my debut EP release that was supposed to happen this week. A lifelong dream finally coming to realization all of a sudden made incredibly impossible. I couldn't go to the gym so I stopped working out and ate and drank whatever was available. I stopped working altogether and got further and further from my future goals. But then something snapped in me. Maybe I could make this time into something I've been needing for a long time. Maybe I could use this time to stop trying to run around and keep myself busy to please others, but instead use it to care for myself and the people who are here right in front of me. So I reframed my quarantine. I painted my room and redecorated to up the energy and frequency in this place. I released my debut single to hopefully get some people dancing in this weird time. And they did. I started making silly TikToks to make myself and others laugh, dance, and smile. I started working out every single day with my roommate, Julia. And I was so grateful for her that I ended up getting her a new workout mat. It felt good to give something. And then I also joined virtual workouts with friends from across town and across the country. I even started leading some of these workouts for my friends, and I got to bring groceries to a friend who's immunocompromised. Again, it felt good to give something. I ended up still getting to shoot one of my planned weddings that ended up being a quarantined wedding with just 10 people there, and it was one of the most beautiful days of this whole experience. I mowed the lawn, planted flowers, and started making delicious meals at home. I'm watching Star Wars for the first time, reading a book, and I created a video journal for myself. Something I've always wanted to do. Overall, quarantine and social distancing really sucks. And yes, I have to keep myself from seeing how my ex is doing through all of this. But anyway, my world has shrank, I have less, but maybe for now, that's more than enough.